would like to acknowledge the presence of our elders and our deacons. Amen. Amen. Uh, so today, I just feel that I should uh, share about uh, the love of God. The love of God. The love of God in the church. Amen. Amen. So I will be taking a reading from uh, the letter from our father. Uh, the year 2020 is different from other years. We need to be strong as never before because there are things in the spiritual world that I cannot be able to explain except that I encourage everyone to make sure that your relationship with God is right. Uh, so our father is encouraging us. He's encouraging everyone. He's encouraging uh, not the elders, not the deacons, but the whole church, each and every individual, that our relationship may be right with God. And uh, the year 2020, the foundation of everything is the love of God in the church. Uh, amen. amen. And uh, it continues to say the key is the love of God. Love uh, never fails. Uh, so our father, uh, he wrote a book. And it's uh, two ways of knowing God. So there are many ways uh, we could know God by. And he gave us uh, two characteristics. One is that you may know God uh, uh, through the internet, through searching. Maybe some people can explain uh, to it to you, right? But there is another way, uh, which is a personal relationship. Uh, a personal encounter with God. And our Father is encouraging us that we should desire uh, to have a personal relationship uh, uh, with God. Amen. Uh, so I'll be taking uh, my reading from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse uh, 1 to 5. So this verse now tells us about uh, different types of people in the world. Uh, that there are people uh, that judge others. There are people who uh, look for faults uh, into people. People who look for the bad and they neglect their selves. They ignore their selves and focus on others. But our Father is encouraging us that uh, we should focus on ourselves. We should not focus on other people. Uh, because God is not looking for a group of people, but he's looking for individuals. Individuals who fear him. Individuals who love him. So uh, when we see that big log that you have, may we focus to remove it. May we focus to have a personal relationship with God. Uh, because when you have a personal relationship with God, uh, everything moves well. Everything goes well. Because you have a personal relationship with God. Uh, so that on that day, uh, when many people come saying, Lord, Lord, uh, the Lord will know you. Because, uh, you know, you can't ask uh, about something to a person who you know about. If God knows about you, there's no question because he knows you. So it's not about uh, you knowing God, but also may God know you. May God more so know us. Amen. Uh, I'm praying that uh, I may, as I'm encouraging you, I may encourage myself. Amen. Uh, I may encourage myself. And the Bible now continues. Matthew 7 verse 13. And uh, it talks about two roads. There's a big road. And uh, many people, the Bible says many people follow that road. Not a few people, but many people. And you know, that road is undesirable. It leads nowhere. 
and there is another road, the thin road, uh, where only few people manage to go through that road, but it leads to salvation. It leads to salvation. Amen. And, uh, and uh, you know, that wide road uh, where we are comfortable with, it leads nowhere. It leads nowhere. We are comfortable, but at the end, it's undesirable. Uh, so it is my encouragement to you uh, that it's better to move it within the road, the thin road, because it leads to salvation. It leads to righteousness. It leads to the peace, to the joy. Uh, when you follow that road, uh, wonderful things begin to happen in your life. You know, you are not sacrificing your life for anything because you gave your life to God and God died for us. Uh, and you know, we should have the love of God. Uh, I was thinking about something. Uh, Matthew 7, verse 21. Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone who calls to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. So the thing that strikes me most is that it says, it does not say the will of our Father. It says the will of my Father. Which means Jesus had a personal relationship with God. He and, he, he and God, they were certain that they were the same. They were one. He had a personal relationship with God. Uh, so I'm encouraging each and every one of us. Uh, may we desire to have a personal relationship with God. Uh, it's not about following the group. Uh, you know, people were following Jesus. They were looking for, to, to you know to discourage him, to say bad things about them. But God is not looking for a group of people. He is looking for individuals uh, who love him, who trust him. Uh, Jesus was certain that these people uh, were not following him because they were uh, just uh, putting themselves in a group. Uh, we follow Jesus, so we follow God. But we should desire to have a personal relationship with God. You as an individual, not as a group, as an in individual. Amen. And uh, these things, uh, Jesus, you know, was talking to his disciples. Uh, to his disciples. Amen. Uh, and uh, in Luke uh, chapter 18, verse 28, you know, Peter said, uh, Master, Look, we have left everything to follow you. We have left everything to follow you. So you should leave some things. There are some things you need to leave. There are some things you need to leave. And you have a personal relationship with God. And you have to continue to have a personal relationship with God. You have to leave some things behind. Uh, these people, you know... Matthew, he just left everything, the money. He was a tax collector, and he just left all these things uh, because they are not desirable. The things of this world are not desirable. But if you follow God, uh, everything shall be well with you. Amen. Uh, you know, I uh, just want to encourage us uh, uh, on the love of God. We should have the love of God in the church. Uh, let us not judge one another. Let us not be quick to say that this one is not a Christian. But let us uh, focus on ourselves, on our personal relationship, other than uh, saying bad about someone. But let us focus and build on a relationship and help that person. You know, we rise by helping one another. You know, God is love. Uh, our Father says the key is the love of God. Love never fails. So if God is love and it says love never fails, it means God never fails. Amen. God never fails. If we follow God, if we desire to be with God, you know, love is an active word. Love is active. Love is active. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. That is, that he gave his only begotten son. For God so loved the world, he loved, and he gave his only begotten son. 
That is action. That is action. You show love by action. Uh, those are the words that I have. Thank you.